Hello friends, today I show you how to surface your lawn mower by yourself. It is not very difficult. First a warning, pull the spark plug in order to avoid the engine starting on its own. Step 1 we have to close the gas valve. When the valve handle follows the line, then the valve is open. When the valve handle does not follow the line, then the valve is closed. Step 2 replace air filter. Remove the lid and clean it. We discard the dirt in the old filter. Everything has to be clean. The air filter housing has to be very clean before we insert the new filter element. We have to clean the lid before we install it. The lid has to close air tight. This looks very good. Step 3 The Oil Change First we remove the stick and measure the oil level. If it is too much, then we have either water or gasoline in the oil. If we don't have enough, then the oil level was not checked often enough. Only if it is as good as this, then we measure the oil with a measuring cup to be able to tell how much fresh oil we have to fill into the engine. We use a measuring cup and tilt the mower to one side. As shown in this video, The gas tank fill opening should be up. A good mower should be designed in a way that gasoline cannot escape when we tilt the mower for the oil change. Because we do this on a cold engine, we let it trip a little longer. For this reason, I am going to fast forward the video. In this case we can see that we extracted 420 milliliters oil. We can now tilt the mower back on its wheels, and also insert and close the oil stick cap. We need to recycle the old oil. Every drop counts. Now we get to step 4. Replacement of the blades. We block the blades from spinning with a piece of wood, while we loosen the bolts. Only pansies wear gloves, while we loosen the bolts. When we remove the blades, we remember the installation location and position of them. We reuse the washers.
Step 5 we will replace the V-belt. In this case the V-belt is still good, even though the mower is already years old. The belt powers the wheels. It doesn't have to work hard. I will replace the belt only for this video. We need to remove a guard. We need to unhook the spring with a flat screwdriver. When you twist the transmission as shown here, then it is easy to remove the belt. Compare the new and old belt by part number and size. Then install the belt the same way you took it off. Now we have to hook up the tension spring in a smart way. After that we check the belt tension. We install the cover again. When we install the blades, we cannot forget the washers. As shown here, I even use new bolts. Tighten the bolts by hand at first. We will use the manufacturer recommended torque. In this case it is 40 newton meter. That limits the chance of loosing the blades during our mowing sessions. We use wood to keep the blades from spinning. And again I do not wear gloves. That makes sense in my case, because I never slip. That's why I still have all my fingers. Step 6 Spark Plug Replacement
we need to use a spark plug tool in order to not damage the ceramic isolator of the spark plug. We can shine a light into the chamber to look for damages or surprises. In case we didn't find anything. The old spark plug doesn't look bad. For this video I use a new spark plug. I followed the instructions printed on the packaging. I screw the spark plug in by hand until I reach the end of the thread. Then I do a half turn as shown here. The plug doesn't hold great, I tighten the contact prongs a little more. Of course without damaging the plug. The plug has to sit good and tight and waterproof. If the plug or cable is damaged, we would have to replace the cable. Now we fill in the new engine oil. This label shows how to measure the oil level correctly. The dipstick does not have to be screwed in in order to measure the level. You can see that there is no oil in the motor. We don't know what your specialist recommends, but Honda recommends Honda 10W30 oil. Here I fill in 0.4 liter with a funnel. As always we look for cleanliness. At the end we check the oil level again. We need to close the oil stick tight. If we make a service tag, it will be helpful for the next service. Then we know exactly what we did last time. Now we need a test run. Don't forget to open the gas valve, otherwise you won't get it to run. Thank you much for watching.